Hello. We're back with another um, video. Um, and for this video, we'll be talking about exam week and the autumn break. And you tell us. Oh, no. What is exam week? Now, this is a very good question, and I will be... <laughs> I will be answering this. Um, so exam week here in Finland is basically it happens in all, I guess, uh, high school awesome. high schools. Um, so basically, you have around at least in our school you have six weeks um, where you just you know like you go to class. six weeks. Um, so we have period five periods in a year, and each period is six weeks. And at the end of each period, there is an exam week, which we're going to be talking about. Okay, so basically, exam week is in the name itself like it's a week that's just exams so well at our school it's like six no it's eight days long well it doesn't have it's not always specifically in one week it can scr stretch over two weeks so you have yeah. like a weekend in between um and it is usually at least um eight days yeah long. i mean ours was started on wednesday and ended on friday yeah right Yes. Well, the next week, Friday, and we mm -hmm. had the whole uh, weekend in between to yeah. study for the next exams. Um, um, each of us have at least, I think, at least five courses a period, and then five. No, it can be like, it depends on what. It depends on what take. courses you take, but I'm pretty sure it should be between four to, to eight. Eight. Um. So basically, if you have the full eight, you have an exam every day, and if you only have four courses. You, I guess, have breaks in when your course is not happening. Like, we exam. had an exam every day except on, I think it was Thursday and Monday. When I talk about this exam week with most of my friends who go to different, like, high schools, high schools um, they all agree that, at least for most of them, exams can take from, um, you can have from one to no, three hours. 45 minutes. Well, our shortest exam was only 45 minutes long and our longest was three hours long so you it really depends on what subject it is or what uh, course uh, it is and depending if you're taking standard level or higher level like during the exam like when it started the teacher would like open the classroom and you were all allowed to go there there's no like official seating arrangement you just sit wherever you can but it's like in Almost, I'm pretty sure universally, everyone has to have, like, one space between each other. Yeah. And, like, um, most teachers made you put your, like, all your stuff on t in, like, a pile in a corner of a classroom. Except, like, and take, like, a pencil and, a, yeah. like, a, an eraser. You couldn't take, like, a pencil case. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly for some of them, um, they were very lenient in just leaving your bags there. Like, for some exams, I just had my phone in my pocket for the whole time. Yeah, and that's Obviously, like, like, I don't condone cheating myself. Yeah. Neither do the teachers, but it was, like... What I also thought was really interesting was that um, since we're in IB, the many of us are, like, um, multicultural, so... Um, if you wouldn't, if you didn't know how to answer in English, they were fine with the answering in a different language. Like I know multiple of my classmates had answered like in Russian on their exams, and the teachers wouldn't mind. Like you wouldn't lose points for answering in a different language, which was really nice. It just had to be like you were able to translate it, and it was like the right answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Also, at least for us, um, what I can say is that in like normal Finnish high school, every exam is on computer. So yeah. you do it online. Um, we have it on paper since we're in the IB, IB program, so it's <clears throat> different. But, but every other Finnish yeah. high school has their exams on the computer. For our first exam week, um, <laughs> well, we didn't exactly. Um, well, I think I did well. No, well, I I wasn't gonna say that. I just oh. said we weren't that prepared. Yeah, well, my exam week con mostly consisted on uh, studying two days before the exam. And even then, even yeah. though our upperclassmen warned us about doing that and advised yes. against it. And most, like, um, they, they did tell us that most people's first exam week won't go as well as they hoped. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's just common knowledge, at least in Finland, that once you go to high school, um, even my friends who had gotten, like, full marks in middle school, like, they got 10s and 9s, which is, like, A's, um, 
they started getting like sevens and sixes which is like c's and b's and of course even though you know we heard about that and we acknowledged that we were like okay so this what's gonna happen a lot of people are still shocked and disappointed that their grades dropped dropped but um, it happens to everyone yeah so. and like um many people did tell us to start studying like two weeks before our exams and did we listen no no we like we might have done well during exam week but that doesn't mean we were well prepared like many of our classmates and us we only started studying a few days beforehand which i do not recommend but mm -hmm. we did that anyways and i feel like that's because it was our first exam week and we didn't really know what to expect and because we were still getting used to like high school so everything was coming so fast we didn't really have time to like yeah. be like but actually like, worry about exam now it's better because we've, we've experienced that so now we have like some kind of understanding yeah. of what we need to do but i mean i just remember from exam week <laughs> like the day before i went to sleep at like one or two because i had like 18 pages or like 18 19 20 pages of bio notes that i had written down and i was just like reading over and over again and then we were like quizzing each other yeah and, like, i was crying so stressed and, yeah yeah um, let's okay. talk about Results. results when we get the first six exams back let's just say i um i cried a lot during that day i cried at least three times yes mm -hmm. it, it was not fun in my opinion i at least think i did pretty well considering that i've never been a like star student so yeah. i did okay that's all i'm gonna say yeah um, but we both did fail our math course, so at least in the IB program. Right. Well, at least um, in our school, if you fail the exam, you immediately fail the course. Whereas in like fin you, normal Finnish high schools, if you fail the exam, you don't automatically fail the course. Unless, unless you, you haven't done the homework yeah. or the classwork. Or you've like, just been bad yeah. in general at like, everything. I know a course. few of my friends who failed one of the exams and like they still passed the course because they did all their homework and then did like the projects in the mm -hmm. class so since i failed my math exam i automatically failed the math and the course so um i we actually already did the retake a few days ago yeah um that was it wasn't that difficult i mean i spent it like, was also three hours long. yeah it was the exact same one but we had like almost the exact same questions they were just so like slightly different and maybe a bit harder um but i did spend almost three weeks studying for the math retake yeah. and so. then um we also had the autumn break a week ago so um, I spent which we spent studying, studying. Yes. yes as we talked about before about how like a lot of people don't realize this that high school is here in finland isn't just about studying like you're able to like relax and mm -hmm. have some hobbies i mean stuff. it's not in most countries it's not just about studying either um but it is really important everywhere that you yeah, are able to relax and, and like take a step back from school and be able to do things that you also enjoy um so that you don't cause too much pressure on yourself yeah. and that you are able to look at the bigger picture.